Hello, listeners, and welcome back to the English with Neil Learn English podcast. How's everyone doing today? This is episode number 95, and today we are going to talk about the book Happy Money. Happy Money, it says, The Japanese Art of Making Peace with Your Money. You can check this book out on Google. Uh, the author is Ken Honda, Japan's best selling Zen millionaire. Um, let's talk about this book. This book is very interesting. I am actually rereading this book. I bought this book about three years ago, and I'm rereading it. As you guys know, I just reread the book Rich Dad Poor Dad. Now I am rereading Happy Money. This is uh, this is probably one of my favorites. And the reason why I love this book is so much is because the author goes so deep into money psychology. I mean, it's 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 an amazing read. I think I hope this book is has been translated into different languages because it, because I think everyone in the world needs to read this book, Happy Money by Ken Honda. Um, and basically the 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 whole theme of the book is how to have a better relationship with money. And so today I'd like to talk about um, just my thoughts on money and what money means. You know, the interesting thing when you think about money is you have to understand that money is just paper. That's it. Like, how crazy is that? And I, th I think about the world and how there's crime, right? People rob banks. People rob each other for money, for paper, just a piece of paper. People kill each other. Wars happen. Um, people lose relationships. Uh, you know, people get divorces over money, over paper. And another thing we have to realize is that money is not even real. Now, what do I mean by that? That might be kind of confusing when I say money is not real. Money is only real. Money only has value because the government said that it has value. You can go and buy your own island, right? You can go... Let's say, for example, you you had you had a lot of money and you were able to buy your own island. You can go to your island and you can say, OK, um, on my island, rocks are going to be money. All right. You can't use paper money on this island. On my island, you have to use rocks. So anybody who has rocks, um, you know, that that can be a form of money. So money is only valuable because. The government said it's valuable tomorrow if the government said okay um, tomorrow um, we're not going to use this paper money we're going to use leaves so you can just pick money off the tree and now we can you can use that money to buy things and you know that would that would be the money that's why I mean money is not real it's only real because the government says it's real you know money can be anything right just like cryptocurrency you can't even see that right it, it's a code, right? What, and what can you do with that? You can't really do anything with it right now. But that is also a form of money, cryptocurrency. Um, also, right now, governments around the world are trying to figure out how to make digital money, their own digital currency. I know China has implemented this. I, I want to say, was it Venezuela? It's, there's some, I'm, I forgot. I think it was Venezuela. There's a country, I forgot the name of it, that has adopted uh, Bitcoin as its official currency. Um, I know the U.S. is working on something and Japan's working on something. So all of these uh, countries around the world are, are trying to make digital currency, currency that you can't even see, you can't even touch. It's just numbers on a screen. That's why I said money is not even real. So money is interesting. You know, when you think about money, like I said, going back, people 
do very harmful things. People do very bad things because of money. But on the flip side, money can be used in so many good ways. For example, money can get you a good education, right? Money can allow you to go to college. Money can allow you to buy books. Money can allow you to take classes. Uh, money can allow you to start a business. Money can allow you to get health care. I mean, money has so many good things, right? And you start and you wonder like this this paper, right? This this paper, these coins, how can it be used in a bad way, right? Like to to start a war. But at the same time, it can be used in a good way to uh, to help someone, to buy food for someone. Right. So you start to wonder, is money the problem or are people the problem? <laughs> it's interesting, right? It's just like a gun, right? Like a gun. A gun can be used to hurt someone, but a gun can also be used to protect someone. So you, you know, you start to wonder, hmm, OK, is money the problem or are people the problem? I think people are the problem. <laughs> and so um, in this book, Happy Money, um, Ken Honda teaches uh, readers how to have a better relationship with money. Um, he goes into, uh, you know, money, uh, you know, being destructive, people's negative views towards money, but also he gives solutions to have a better relationship with money. And like I said, I think everyone in the world should read this book because our world, our lives revolve around money, especially when you're an adult, right? When you're an adult or even as a teen, you start working. I started, I think I had my first job when I was 15, 16. Um, that was my first, you know, I, you know, I learned how to make money through working. And then when you're an adult, you know, you get a credit card, you get a house and you have more responsibility with money. And then when you have kids, that's really when you got to think about money. So, um, you know, money, it, it's it, 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 man, I mean, when you think about it, it's like, wow, this paper, this little piece of paper with numbers on it really has a huge impact on our lives in a good way and in a bad way. So uh, I think it's important for everyone to have um, a good relationship with money because, you know, like I said, money is never going to go away. It may change forms. Right now it's it's paper and, and, and metals. But in the future, who knows if it's going to be around. It may be something digital. You know, it, it may be something else. So, um, but whatever it is, uh, the idea stays the same. And I think it's very important that we all have a good relationship with money so that we can have a better peace of mind and enjoy our lives without worrying and stressing about money. So check out this book, Happy Money by Ken Honda. All right, everyone, that is it for today's episode. Thank you for tuning in to the English with Neil podcast. I look forward to speaking with you in the next one. Take care, everyone. And talk to you soon. Peace.